Sin is everything or anything that fails to conform to the holy and perfect character of God. You say, now what do you mean by that? Well, I mean that God is the one who establishes the standard for what is called sin and what is not sin. I remind you of Leviticus 19 and verse 2. Leviticus 19 and verse 2. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel and say unto them, ye shall be holy. Now, notice the expectation. The expectation is for us to uh, live in a holy and pure and righteous way before a holy, pure, and righteous God. The expectation is followed up with, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. Sin becomes sin when it is measured against the standard of God's perfection. God is the one who establishes the rules. You and I need to understand that. Our culture does not establish the rules. Our government does not really establish the rules of what is moral and what is immoral. God has already established that for us. So you've got to decide which is your authority in your life. Is it the truth of God's word or is it whatever happens to be the thing in the day and time in which we live? You and I must firmly base our thinking and our living upon the truth of God's Word. So God says that sin is measured by His perfect, holy character. One of the reasons we don't properly define sin today uh, is because we have an extremely low view of God. We live in a culture that has brought God down to our level in order to make acceptable that which He hates. We don't want to have a holy, perfect, pure, righteous God because that makes us look bad. And so what do we do? Well, we just redefine God. We bring God down to our level and that makes us feel good. It makes us feel that he accepts our sinful lifestyle. But I want you to understand that God still hates sin. And even though you may bring God down to your level in your mind, he is still holy, he is still pure, he is still righteous, and he is still just. God has not changed. He is the same today, and he is the same as he was yesterday, and he'll be the same in the future thousands of years from now. You see, sin is first and foremost an offense against a holy God. 